Alô, alô, my name is Sofia and this is an audio version of my blog entry entitled Geolocating an American Bald Eagle's Nest Near NASA's Kennedy Space Center, originally published in February 2023. Introduction. Occasionally, you may come across a photo that you need to geolocate, but there are no distinct landmarks or features that can guide you. You might think that there's nothing to be done. Sometimes, even in those cases, geolocation is still possible. You just need to take a slightly longer route. This blog entry is an example of one of those situations. On February 10, 2023, NASA published a photo of an American bald eagle in a nest. According to the information provided by the space agency, the photo was taken a couple of days earlier on February 8, 2023. I looked at the photo on Twitter and thought that the best way to spend a few minutes on a Saturday afternoon was to attempt to geolocate a nest on a tree somewhere near Kennedy Parkway North at NASA's Kennedy Space Center. The photo can be seen in a tweet below. There's a tree and an American bald eagle there. I did consider turning the challenge into an OSINT exercise, but figured it would perhaps have been a bit too hard for beginners, so here's the full explanation nevertheless. If you want to give it a go anyway, stop reading or listening here and go for it. Anything below this line will be an explanation on how I did it. So let's go. Gathering data. The first step in any geolocation is to look at the data and see if there's anything we can use to help us navigate and find the correct coordinates. If there is not much to go by, the second step is to find more data. Looking at NASA's tweet, you can see a pine tree, an eagle, and there's an implication that there's a nest underneath that eagle. It's not possible to fully see the nest, but if the person who took the photo claim it was there, I believe it. Also, NASA published, it's probably true, right? The photo on its own is not enough. We need more information on this and, if possible, photos from other angles. I figured that the resident American bald eagles at NASA Space Center would possibly attract some attention from visitors or staff. It's very likely that they have been photographed before. We just need to find these photos. I quickly googled Kennet Parkway North Eagle Nest. The second result was a photo on Wikipedia entitled East in Nest by NASA. Look at this beauty. So great photo, great eagles. And what can we see in the distance? A building. <laughs> it's a building, a perfect photo for a geolocation. There's a road visible on the right, highlighted in blue. So here it is, a bit zoomed in. And a building with interesting features highlighted in red. We can use all of this to triangulate the nest. According to the Wikipedia article, the photo was shared in March 2008, but had been taken in 1992. The accompanying test mentioned how the nest is particularly well known because of its huge size and close proximity to a busy road. Luckily for us, we can already see the road, so already know the rough distance from it. If you're disappointed by the lack of American bald eagle chicks in the nest, I got you. I also found a photo of the nest on an old NASA page, this time with one fluffy chick in it. So here it is, doesn't look very impressed though. <laughs> the page was last updated in 2008, but I found the same photo on a website as early as July 2007, so who knows when it was taken. Nevertheless, here's the happy family. Triangulating the location. Now that we have a clear idea of the whereabouts, let's focus on the detail to figure out the precise location of the nest. We can see a building in the distance, but there's no shortage of buildings at NASA's Kennedy Space Center, and I'm not a fan of looking through maps aimlessly. To speed up the process, I just googled NASA's Kennedy Space Center buildings and checked the images tab hoping to find one similar enough to the one visible on the photo. It was quite straightforward, almost all the results were of the vehicle assembly building as seen below. So all of this is the same building. We can compare the buildings seen in the distance in the 1992 photo showing the American bald eagle's nest on the left, so it was zoom in, remember this? and the vehicle assembly building at NASA's Kennedy Space Center on the right. So this is the same building. The old photo had a different logo there at the time, but other than that, it has not really changed that much. Once I established which was the building I was after, I simply searched for vehicle assembly building on Google Maps and check out the area. Fortunately, there are various paths with street view available, which is amazing, so useful. I navigated around until Pegman was facing the general direction of the building seen in the 1992 photo. Below you can see how I tried to align the building's angle to figure out the cardinal directions of our target road. From that, I deducted that the nest would be located southwest of the structure and we would have to be facing north 
east to see the vehicle assembly building in the far distance. So I hope this makes sense. Basically, I went to Google Maps, checked street views, put the pegman there and moved around until I could see the building facing this way. So this is the same angle as this one here. So you can see there's a logo on that side, there's a massive flag on this side, and this is the front entrance in this kind of angle. That's it. From there, and because the street going south had Google Street View, I start navigating and trying to really look at the trees by the side of the road. So this road here. The available street view was from 2012, but we know that the American bald eagles have been around since at least 1992 and their nests get reused each breeding season, so it's very likely that the nest would be visible from the road, with a bit of luck that is. I wanted to confirm that, so I googled Kennedy Parkway Eagle Nest and checked the images. I figured that if it was near the road and visible, other people would have attempted to spot it, perhaps even taking photos. I was right and found a couple of photos from the road as seen below. So again, I put on Google Kennedy Parkway Eagle Nest on the images, and this photo and this photo were very useful because you can see the tree with a nest on it. They led me to a four square page with a gallery of 46 photos of the nest as seen from the road, all very similar to the ones seen above. There was no indication as to when the photographs had been taken, but it was good enough. It's fine. I don't care about that. I clicked on a few of them and tried to memorize the pattern of trees so that I could easily spot it when moving along the road on Google Street View. Using that information and the general idea of how far the nest would be from the building, I quickly found the nest on a tree. Da, da, da. The screenshot below highlights in red the building visible in the distance, the road we had seen at the beginning in blue and the nest on top of a tree. You can check it for yourself using the following coordinates. So here it is. You can just check it out. Verifying the location. No geolocation is done without proper verification. Although the image above already established the likelihood that this is the correct nest, I always like to double and triple check all the information. First of all, I wanted to confirm that there is no possibility of other nests in the area. I googled simple questions such as are bald eagles territorial and do American bald eagles all use the same nest? The answers were as expected, yes and yes. It is therefore highly unlikely that there would be another breeding pair in the same area due to their territorial nature and highly unlikely that this would have been an abandoned nest as they get reused each year. A quick note on this screenshot, you'd have to right click and open it because it got cut and it does say do American bald eagles always use the same nest because it's cut and it seems like I just asked can bald eagles always use the same nest which makes no sense. I was not satisfied so I also checked if the nest seen in the street view image was an American bald eagle's nest. I searched for American bald eagle nest tree images and I found various photos. They're all very similar in shape and size to the one seen in the NASA photo of the day and below are two examples. So none of these photos are from this location. These are examples of American bald eagle's nest. So I'll just compare and make sure that they look more or less similar and they do. Lastly, I want to compare the tree. So I went on YouTube and searched for eagle's nest at Kennedy Space Center. The first result was a three-year-old video entitled East Nest Along KSC Bus Tour. Brilliant, exactly what I was looking for. I stopped the video at the two second mark and took a screenshot of the tree with the nest at the top. So left image below, so this one. Then I compared it to the street view screenshot I took on the right here and looked at the branches and below you can see a couple of the details highlighted also visible are the power lines in front of the tree so you can see the power lines there and you can see how at the top of the tree just underneath the nest there's a little almost like a v here and here so the branches kind of split here and on the left you have a very interesting branch shape and you can see the exact same shape here. Look at that. And it's just perfect. It looks exactly the same. So mission completed. I am 100% sure this is the correct tree with the American bald eagle's nest as seen in a NASA photo of the day on February 10, 2023. And with this, we complete the geolocation. So conclusion. This blog entry explored how to geolocate an image with very limited visual information about its location. 
We started by finding more information about the subjects featured on a photo and the possible location. Afterwards, we examined the area and found new landmarks. We analyzed the features in the photo and triangulated the possible direction from which we would be able to see them all in the correct angles. Then we found more data to help us locate the exact tree. We ended by confirming that the tree indeed contained the American bald eagle's nest and it was very unlikely to be an abandoned nest or in use by a different breeding pair. All the evidence put together pointed towards the nest we found being the one featured on NASA's photo of the day on February 10, 2023. Not having enough information visible in a photo should not stop you from attempting to still geolocate it. There are always ways to work around it and still accurately get to the coordinates. I hope this geolocation walkthrough was useful or at least entertaining. Thank you for listening. Sophia.